As he's Xavier, and welcome to the Great Florathon. As you can see, between episodes, I thought to myself, you know what I want? All the floors. We've got nine billion limestones, so I decided to make this entire place out of limestone to match the walls. I put in a bunch of different uh, patterns here and there. We'll see how it comes out, we'll see how they look, and we'll see which ones I like. Now, obviously, it's going to take a while to get all this done, but I think this episode is going to be dedicated to getting floors in here. We haven't had floors at all. Uh, probably, I can't even remember in how many episodes it's been now. The entirety of the last series, I don't think we had a floor. So, yeah, back to Wild West. is I think, I, I think episode like 42 or something of the Wild West series is when I put in floors. So we had 42 episodes of that with pretty much no floors too. In any event, we got a little bit of catching up here to do, as you guys can all see. Uh, there was a raid last episode. We got, mm, let me think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight corpses to haul out of there. All kinds of weapons and random nonsense. And I'm realizing now I probably would have been better off allowing these guys to retreat because now I just have to haul more of their corpses for no good reason. Uh, Paul Dose over here has the flu, I think it was. Let's go check him out. No, he's got the plague, actually. Plague, 51. Immunity, 93. He's almost basically done with it already. That's insane. Cinnamon's tending to him by hand, unfortunately. One thing we're going to kind of need to do here is get some more heal root going. Now, we don't have a huge amount of it. We got some right there, and we get some right here. I really wanted to do this whole thing with heal root. It's going to take me so long to plant because I'm the only one who can plant it, and I have so many other things to do. I think we'll... Oh, speaking of, I'm the one working on the stones. There we go. Our first stone is in. Let's get me off of working on stones for sure. Uh, just temporarily here. Deliver, construct stones. Yeah, let's bump that back to at least a seven. And I think once we're done this one... There we go. Now I'm going to go work on some other stuff. Yeah, good. Good. I, I can't be doing stuff like that. I'm the only blacksmith in the town, and I'm not even really a blacksmith as it is either. You know what? Since Paul Dos is incapacitated over here, why don't we run up and... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Where'd the axe go? Did someone... Yeah, someone hauled it already. Let's shift-click right uh, equip steel battle axe, and then also shift-right-click... Well, that's only 18%. Here, we'll equip that... Um, shield as well when we're done there so we'll have one more person who can actually help out with fighting since paul dos will be out for a little while with all those wounds and whatnot i'm curious now cedric oh cedric's eight day holothon seems to have come to an end he's a little bit slower now i can't believe we went through eight days that quickly there's a lot of stuff to haul here look at all of this stuff yeah he's just bringing in like one thing at a time because mental apathy cinnamon observed rotting corpse well that's not surprising that's not surprising at all. Over here, we've got Alma hauling the final corpse, which is nice. And then we'll have a bunch of hours during our uh, cleanup here for... Not, even, not during our cleanup. We'll have a bunch of hours where everyone's like, Oh, no, we saw corpses. Maybe like 13 or whatever from the cleanup. There we go. This is what I wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure someone, i.e. Alan, was cleaning. And indeed, he is. So Cedric's not doing it, but at least Alan's taking care of it. We'll get rid of all this blood. Everything will be back to fine and dandy in the very near future here. Lots of cleaning after that that raid that was a bloodbath i'm realizing now uh or at least part of the re oh hey let's go look around the map because yeah i had noticed this mufalo was out here rotting for no good reason i guess it was murdered by a uh what is this thing called a, a borg but there might be some more things on the map that have been murdered there's a lot of just random predators on this map killing things i would have loved a free mufalo that would have been fantastic Alas, we got no such thing, and I don't see any other animals floating around anywhere that are... Oh, here's a turtle. Uh, I don't really want to haul that down. It's not... Oh, hey, wait a minute. There's a fox. Eh, is it worth it? Oh, wait a minute. Here's a warg. The warg died. All right, you know what? Forget it. I guess the warg killed so many things. He actually died. Never mind. How is he dead? Just blood loss? Oh, just blood loss from a turtle? A turtle bit him in the neck? And the warg died? What a terrible hunter. You stupid warg. How about this warg? Yep, this warg over here is going to die too. Amazing. I should have been paying more attention to these guys. They're like free hunters for us. They kill something, then we can go collect it, and they're full and they won't attack us. Huh. Lots of mooflos up there, but yeah. All right, we'll, we'll check on, on there in a little bit. Why is this guy, Xamboxada Scout, dead for 15 days? Why has this one never been hauled? 
It seems like sometimes people just don't get hauled when they really should. This is allow rotten, and it does indeed allow corpses of human likes. So why the heck she never got hauled down there? I guess I will never know. We hauled all of these guys almost immediately. That one's been like from two raids ago. Just random corpse not being hauled for no good reason. Anyways, let's see what I'm, I'm up to over here. I am relaxing socially up by this place. Well, this isn't the place I really... Let's turn this off as a gather spot. There we go. Now we won't relax. I want to have everyone relaxing down here for increased social activities. When the time comes. Hunter Lax Range Weapon. That's going to be Paul Dose. Yeah, that's because I stole his, his, uh, his melee weapon there. So moods are basically in the yellow. Cinnamon's on a mental break right now. Mental break apathy. Not the worst thing, though. Observed corpse will go... Yeah, it's actually going away right now, as I say this. Awful bedroom's gonna go away pretty soon. Unsightly environments. Well, we're working on that. We did clean up the entirety of inside here, except for a couple pieces of blood. It's unfortunate we have to look at all these squares. But they'll get hauled in eventually. Simple meal has... Wow, we actually had meals rot. You don't see that every day. Let's watch what Cedric gets himself up to here. Feeding meals to me, feeding meals to himself, feeding meal to Paul Dose. Now he's hauling limestone blocks to rough paving stone. So he's going to be going back and forth all day here, hauling these limestone blocks. He's countering limestone blocks times 55. He should just level these things in because it's like four a piece. Yeah, he just put a whole bunch in there. I don't know how many limestone blocks this is going to take, but we've already used 250 of our 500, and it barely looks like we've scratched the surface. Okay. We're not going to get this done. Well, we might get this done this episode. I'm going to try my best. Refugee is being chased. A teacher named Logan. She's being chased by brigands. And Logan, you know... Wow, look at this one. This one's 25. She's a fast walker, though. That would have been nice if she was a, as a, uh, a dwarf, but I'll pass. No, thank you. Toodles, Logan. Yeah, we just went through all of our limestone already, and we barely scratched the surface, so we're going to need, like, probably 2,000 of that. Meanwhile, I think what I had done here before was I had Alan on cleaning. Let's bump him back to, to a six so he does the crafting. Cedric can now take care of most of the crafting. And of course, at some point, I'm going to have to put myself on construct because it's basically just me and Cedric doing construction. But he's currently too busy doing like uh, higher priority hauls. And there is quite a few of them. There's like all these weapons down here that are going to rot all of this stuff, all the food. So no one's really going to make these floors anytime soon. But at least Alan's going to keep the brick flow incoming. Meanwhile, Paul Dose is over here digging out what is soon to be our fantastic forge. really surprised by how fast this is coming along and as far as mood cinnamon's super happy alma's good cedric's okay i'm okay not not fantastic unsightly environment awful bedroom rowdy apparel disturbed sleep i'm comfortable though so that's good aesthetic has repulsive bedroom plus four. Oh, cedric actually needs a repulsive bedroom and we're only making good ones we might have to stick him over here in this bedroom so he's super happy and gives Cinnamon a good bedroom a little bit later. That'll make some sense. Oh, look, Cedric's actually crafting the bricks for us now because we ran out of bricks to place. Thanks, buddy. Nice. We actually got some of them made. Look at that. I tried to use a whole bunch of different styles and like each room kind of has its own random style. I don't know how it's going to look when it's all said and done. I guess we'll have to see. But yeah, we basically put in half of this one room and these two rooms with 500 blocks. So we can assume that's at least another five, at least another 750 blocks. That's going to be a lot of blocks. A super lot of blocks. I'm not sure if I should be doing, but at the same time, though, it's so difficult. Like, So the next raid, based on the fact that uh, we had two refugees in the last episode and this episode... Uh, who called up and wanted to join. So the first refugee had 11 bandits chasing them. The second one had 25. So then we had a raid of 11 uh, tribes people. I'm assuming the next raid is going to be of 25, so I should probably focus more on defenses. But at the same time, once that raid happens and we defeat it, we're going to have 3 million corpses to haul, blood everywhere, and we're going to go on mental breaks for days from the disgusting environment. So I was really hoping to just crank out all of these floors super fast and get nice rooms, get everyone's moods a little bit higher. But 
that might be a stupid idea versus building the defensive walls. I kind of think we can defeat the raid regardless because of whatever traps. We can do ring around the trap or something like that. Uh, I hope anyway. Maybe I can build some more traps um, before the time comes. Oh, boy. Faction-based proximity. Minus 10 with Azan Doom. And also we have this bandit camp quest. Nobleman of the Crown Town has sent us a message. What a cool name. Dark Light, leading nobleman of the Crown Town, has like sent a pigeon with a missive. Apparently bandits nearby are raiding their caravans. They say there's a site with 10 enemies. If we succeed in destroying them, they'll give us a mithril pot bloom plant pot good. Okay, well, I don't really want a mithril pot. A psychic foil helmet, good, and a scaled hauberk masterwork. Well, that's pretty good, but I'm a little worried about attacking because I don't want to send any more than half the colony, so we'd only send, like, three people, and we'd be attacking ten. That does not sound legitimate for just melee dwarves. I don't know how we could even imagine trying to succeed on that, but look at Cedric here cranking out the floors, huh? Not bad. Let's get that stuff going. Hey, by the way, it looks like I got one floor in there that we're missing under more floors uh, right here. Awesome. Well, things are getting done. Putting stuff together. Food, we're at 17 meals. Uh, what am I up to is a good question. I am turning steel here. We got 244 steel. Wow, I'm going through that pretty quick. Getting all our iron, making it into steel. We got zero any more of those lime blocks, limestone blocks, but... Alan will work on chopping those pretty quickly. Meanwhile, Ulma is here just driving through with a... Wow, we are completely out of space in here. Let's just keep expanding the stockpile more and more and more. Such a mess. But it'll have to do for now. There's 300 steel. Amazing. I'm going to get up to 500 steel and actually start making weapons pretty soon, which is good to see. And Alan's making these bricks, like, super fast, but as they're getting made, he's hauling them down in here. And then it looks like Cedric is crafting, which is awesome. Paul Dose, meanwhile, is digging out what is soon to be our brand new armory. This will be great, because then we can move all this stuff out of here. Uh, and this can be just storage. And we can make our kind of thematic armory over in this location. But then... All is going to need a new thing to dig. I'm not even sure what that's going to be. Oh, we can build the mausoleum and finally bury Germain. It's only been like 400 years, right? That's what I think we're going to have to do, yeah. Come on, Poldos. Keep hacking away. Wow, he goes so fast. Let's check out, check out his skill. 11 mining. He's not even that skilled. Remember Swede who had like 17 or 18 mining, whatever the heck it was? Learns 100%. Passion? Interested. Well, he's getting there. He's about to hit 12, actually. We got one, two, three, four, five more blocks. And then our uh, soon-to-be Dwarven Forge will be carved out to at least some extent. Then I suppose we can start digging the next one out. And pretty soon, we're actually going to be able to move into here with our real bedrooms and have like a giant throne room and all kinds of crazy awesome stuff. I haven't prepared for that at all. Right now, I'm just trying to get this place looking good. Let's see what our issues are right now. So we got Tattered Apparel on me. That's from my armor. Hunter lacks range weapon. That's Paul Dose. We got to make a new weapon. We're working on that. Cedric's putting in his floors, which is pretty nice there. Uh, low food. We're down to only 11 with nothing else really incoming. Although these things are at 75%. What about up here? This is all 64 to 67. Uh, this one down here, by the way, indoor is 90. Yeah, it's finally growing now. It's only at 24. This is nowhere near done at 60. And we're going to have to hunt some more animals. Oh, hey, speaking of, speaking of, looks like there's cougars on the prowl. I think. Can we, we can't see if it's hungry or not, but it doesn't look like it's on the prowl. Looks like it wants to go. Oh, it went after our rats. I see. I was hoping it would go after, like, the mega sloth, but nope. We're not going to get that lucky. Look at all these deers and whatnot we could eat if we wanted to. I really wonder why this is not getting hauled. Let's haul that urgently. Seriously, why is that one corpse not getting hauled? Someone it's not even... Missing body parts, dead for 18 days. Deterioration because of outdoors, 77 out of 100. Oh! Is it because... 
Oh, and that's also why none of these are getting made. Expand zone. There would be bugs. Yes, we weren't allowed to go in there. Ah, there we go. Let's clear. I figured it out. Figured it out all by my onesies, guys. Fantastic. Now we can haul that out of the way and get all those uh, traps done up there as well. Which is another thing that really needed to get done. Awesome. Yeah, those three traps. Definitely. All right, I'm hoping the floor gets in soon, and then we can start putting in the wall. You know what? Why don't we work on the wall now, since everyone seems to be super, super, super happy. Actually, let's do one quick glimpse here of what's going on. Then we'll check everyone's social skills, and then we'll start putting in the wall. So I'm currently making steel. We got 400. I got 3,000 iron. At 500, we stop and start making weapons. Alan is just crap. Look at this block. This thing used to be filled with these chunks. He is just crafting limestone for days. Uh, Paul Dos is actually making mead. Yay! We haven't had mead ever, but Paul Dos did finish over here, by the way. So with that being done, let's give him a new job, because other than making mead, he's got literally nothing else he can do. Yeah, there we go. Colonist idol Paul Dos. So this was supposed to be the next thing, which is going to be kind of our mausoleum area. So let's go orders. Paul Dos, there. I'm actually unable to keep up with the amount of things that Paul Dos needs to do. It's pretty crazy. I'm not sure what I was doing uh, with this exactly, but why, why did I cut this out? I'm not sure what the plan with that was. Let's leave that alone for now, because I don't really understand what I was thinking with that. All right, that gives him something to do. Uh, Simon over here is making mead warts and keeping up on the food. We've only got seven meals. I did mention that recently. Maybe we should hunt this mega sloth. Hmm, or maybe not. Or we could just get the whole town to go hunt, like, all the alpacas really quick. Get us a ton of... Or all the deer. Get us a ton of quick food. Or all the mufalos. Woo! Well, they, what if they went on the revenge? They could actually kill us. Yeah, that's, let's not do that. Uh, so let's leave me alone. Alan, you've got a weapon. Where do all the animals go that we need to mount? I don't even see them, honestly. Oh, by the way... All our animals should not be unrestricted. Let's keep them in the animal zone. Because I realize they can go in and attack those uh, wargs and whatnot. And that's not what we want. So let's get Alan over here to... Can I not... Where the heck's Titan going here? There we go. I had it briefly. Mount Titan. Uh, Cedric, you're working on stuff. Cinnamon, come over here. You know what? Get on alert. Come... No, don't prioritize anything. Come over here and... On alert. Mount Aloysius, beautiful. Uh, we got Ulma down here. If you wouldn't mind getting on alert and mounting Brigan and Paul Dos. You got no weapon, but you know what? When has that ever stopped us before, right? Just get on alert and come over here and mount Grizzly Bear 1. Fantastic. Not random Ambrosia Sprout. You guys are all pretty much ready. Paul Dos is going to come in here and just punch. <laughs> just, just, he doesn't need a weapon. He's Paul Dos. Just come up here and punch a bunch of Ibexes and whatnot. All right, guys, get him. Yeah, look at Poldos charging in with his fists. Oh, wait, no. Actually, that's Alan. Never mind. Poldos is way back there. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Do those things die fast, huh? I did not expect them to die so easily. Let's go get a deer over there as well. Because we can uh, grab this guy and make sure it's unforbid, unforbid. Hunt that there. Beautiful. You guys can wreck that random deer. Whew. When we need food, the Dwarven Melee Brigade does indeed produce the foods, I will say. Because I'm a little bit um, annoyed with having to deal with food. Oh, that's right. Me and Paul Dose used to go on hunt -a thons but I've been too busy. I've been too busy to challenge Paul Dose to a hunt -a thon I gotta, I gotta craft all the stuff for everybody. You guys think this is enough? I think it is. Everybody off alert. Fantastic. Grab all these things. Let's hunt those guys up. Unforbid. Uh, unforbid. Perfect. This is exactly what I've always wanted. Tons and tons and tons of meat without having to worry about it. Good to go. And I don't even think we got any real wounds there for uh, all of our effort. Meanwhile, Cedric is already coming out here hauling all these things over. Let's check our wildlife tab. No more bears. That's unfortunate. All right, now, back to what we were doing. Cinnamon was cooking. 
Alma is just sleeping because it's nighttime. Cedric's a little bit busy here. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that too much. Let's check the social tab on everyone now, and then we'll start putting in our wall. Assuming we're going to be able to fit that in, I'm not sure. All those talked about practical droughts with me in passing. Okay. It looks like I am friends with Alan and Cinnamon. Cinnamon, however, hates me. Uh, I'm acquainted with Alma, Cedric, and Paul Dose. Apparently, Paul Dose and I haven't had a good chat for a long time. Uh, that, that a long time ago, Paul Dose used to confide in me about how he likes to butcher the Hunams, but ever since then, uh, you know, and I, well, I guess it was ever since I insulted Paul Dose 17 times and slighted him 22 times. Ever since that incident, me and Paul Dose haven't got along so well, it seems. But Alan and Cinnamon, uh, pretty good. Alan over here, what? Alan is super friends with me. Just just likes me a lot. Amazing. Someone likes me in the colony, friends. I am liked. Uh, also, Cinnamon, well, Alan like. Apparently, Alan just likes everybody here. Cinnamon doesn't like anyone, apparently. Uh, Alan also likes Alma. Uh, doesn't mind Baldos or Cedric. Wow, Alan's just the friendly dwarf. Look, he even waved at Alan is the last thing he did. He exchanged pleasantries with Cedric and Alan. Paul Dos doesn't like Cinnamon at all. Oh wait, no, that's not true. Paul Dos does like Cinnamon a lot. Cinnamon does not like Paul Dos. I'm seeing a trend here. It probably is because Cinnamon still has the negative 40 debuff and once that goes away, uh, we'll be in business. What does Paul Dos think about me? Conversation about extremism. It's plus six. Conversation about leaving the planet. Negative one. <laughs> Conversation about positivity. Negative one. Conversation about integrity, negative two. Integrity, negative three. About doing one's best, negative one. Uh, Arco technology, plus one. Direction, minus two. Political debate, plus one. Adulthood, minus two. Look at all this nonsense. Survive together for a year, plus two. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Amazing. Okay, Cinnamon here thinks the, f yeah, faction in prison mean negative 40. Okay, that's why Cinnamon hates everybody. It's that Once that negative 40 goes away, Cinnamon is actually going to be pretty good friends with Alan and Cedric. Amazing. I wonder if we'll have a relationship in town. Alma over here is friends with me, acquaintance with Cinnamon, acquaintance with Alan, pretty good. And Cedric, Cedric, amazingly enough, really likes Cinnamon. Of course, Cinnamon doesn't like Cedric for no good reason. Conversation about their compliments, plus 16. Cedric is a big fan of me, apparently, as well. Of course, that's just because I saved Cedric and also because we like to talk about getting drunk. And then lastly, Alan here is has a plus 20. All right, well, so far so good. The colonists are not in the worst situation they ever could be. By the way, Cedric's going to be very unhappy about the fact that he's in a good room. Luxuriantly comfortable. Aesthetic has repulsive bedroom. Oh, that's weird. This is a repulsive... This is the finest bedroom in all the lands. What are you talking about? <laughs> repulsive bedroom. All right, I guess we'll leave him there then, since apparently this by dwarf in the standards counts as a repulsive bedroom. Sure. Alma, are you going to just bandage yourself or just heal? Like, what are, you, what are you doing, Alma? You're just not even taking a nap, not tending to yourself. Not that you can, because I don't have it on. But you would think someone would have tended to you by now. Whatever. Who cares? All right. This is coming along. We got all of our stones now placed uh, in this area. We got a lot of it placed down here. This is all placed and mostly constructed. We're definitely working on it, and we're working on it uh, pretty quickly. Food should not be an issue soon once we get all of these things hauled. There's quite a few of them to haul, though. Looks like we already hauled a bunch of them as it is. We'll check down here. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch. That'll get done probably today by Cinnamon. We'll get it all hauled into the, the areas they need to be. Nice. Paul Dose took care of Alma's wounds. Done. So, with that being said, I think it's time we put in our gate. This is going to be gate El Numero Uno. We're not going to build it yet. I'm going to forbid it all. But I do think we're going to put it in. This gate, I think we're going to make it out of limestone to match the limestone that's here. So Dwarven Grand... You know what? Hmm, it's going to be a little bit... There's a thing in here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Dwarven walls. Where are they? Structure. Wooden wall. Here it is. Dwarven reinforced wall. These walls use specially crafted buttresses to provide the perfect reinforcement walls for a Dwarven stronghold. All right. Wooden, sandstone, iron. Uh, I can't actually click this one until we get at least one. That's kind of annoying. I wish they would change that about this mod. Until you actually have one of the stones you need, you can't select the thing that you want to do. 
And I wish you could just do that from the get-go because it's confusing. I got confused by this a long time ago and someone was confused by this in Discord recently as well. I thought you had to make a forge out of iron or granite rather because that's the default stone, but you can make it out of anything. All right, now that we have those bricks, I'm going to pause it really quick. Now I can make it out of limestone and then I can copy paste it like that never even happened. So the idea would be we do something like this. Wow, that's a lot. 32, beautiful. If it's 32, grab all these things and just forbid. 32 is kind of an awkward number, right? So we'd have 16. This would be the halfway point exactly. So what we want then is actually a dwarven gate that goes here. And that should be exactly perfect in between. Let's find out. So that would be 15 tiles, and this would be 14 tiles. Well, I screwed it up, but regardless, we can't get it completely perfectly, I suppose. And then for the gate, we want to do limestone. Oh, there it is. It looks so good. I might want to move it over one, honestly. I think it might look better on the left side. Awesome. Awesome, McPossum. And this is all for them. It's just going to forbid all of that. That's all going to be from the future. I want to do the same thing I did last time, but we're going to have a fire like every fourth tile. So we'll start here. Be like one, two, fire. One, one, two, three, four, fire. One, two, three, four, fire. And then we can put this in. The oh, that's actually really cool. That worked out perfect. I like that a lot. Yeah, grab all this. Forbid. Awesome. And then lastly... It's going to be so awesome when we get around to doing it. I keep saying it's going to be awesome, guys, but honestly, it's going to be awesome. It really is. And we don't have any more bricks here to put the rest of those fires in. Anyway, that's defense number one for the future. We've at least got it planned out, right? Now, defense number two, we're going to need to defend our food over here. So this is a whole different ball game because this is sandstone. Rat self-tamed, all right? Well, we seem to be getting a lot of random self-tames. Let's get that rat into the... Warbore call and murder it for free food, I suppose. Make sure all these deers got hauled. They did. How's our food going? Cinnamon's working on it for sure. We got all the meals we need. And I believe after that, it should go straight to butchering. How many things do we have queued up here? We just finished. 26 out of 25. There is the butchering. Oh, God, I love this. I love how everything just gets done without me having to interact with anyone anywhere. It's incredible. And now, someone should come in here and start... Oh, look, Alma's training a grizzly bear. Obedience, two out of three. And someone should come in here and haul all this stuff soon. Although I don't know when and where exactly. We'll get around to it. There's a lot of people doing hauling work for sure. So next up, this thing up here is going to have to be sandstone. And I believe we're going to have to mine out that little chunk right there. Not that it necessarily matters right now. That's because these two walls are sandstone. I want them to look kind of like they're semi-natural. Uh, so I guess we would do that. We'd have one, two, three, four. And then above that, we'd have one, two, three. Well, let's make it closer to this side. No, let's make it right there, I suppose. Awesome. And then some sandstone walls. Pipe weed binge on Allen. Luckily, we don't have too much pipe weed, so we don't have to worry about that all that much. And then we used to do one, two, fire. So we'll do the same thing. And then it was like one, two, fire. We can put it right in there. That'll actually fit just perfect. Awesome. All right, well, we got that sealed off for our earth root to grow eventually. This sealed off. Eventually, we'll have to seal off down here. I'm thinking maybe here is a better... This is weird because now we've, we've got limestone into sandstone. What do I do? Steel, I think, is what we do in situations like this. I think we go straight to steel. Uh, we could definitely do that. We put one gate here, and then eventually we put another one uh, over there, and we're good. All right, let's do that. You know what, though, before we do that, this one's going to end up being sandstone. And there's already a wall there as it is for no reason. So, sure, let's throw this in. Sandstone wall was, like, here, 
here. We'd like to do at least two. Awesome. Forbid, forbid. And then last, I can't believe I'm actually putting in my defenses, or at least at least plotting them out a little bit here. Do I even want steel? I mean, it's just it's probably better because it's gonna get destroyed anyway to just go to iron, right? This is not one of those weird things that's not like perfectly set up, but regardless, we're gonna do I think we'll do iron on the left side. And then we'll end up building these iron walls. It's weird that you can't double these down for whatever reason. All right, there we go. The only other entrance would be right here, and I'm not going to worry about that one just yet. It's going to be hyper annoying when they do come from down here. But I don't see there's just too much we can do about it. You know what? Let's actually worry about it for a little bit. Let's get in this. Oh, we don't even have the blocks for it. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just see what everyone's up to up here. Alma, how you doing? Looks like, wow, we had a big uh, ha harvest in there, amazingly enough. How is all this meat doing here? Spoils in 1.3 days, 1.3 days. None of it's really hauled to where it needs to go. Although I did just see Alan come in there. Oh, you know why? Alan, one of our haulers, is busy having the pipe weed binge. On the plus note, I think we are actually out of it, so he can't go on any more pipe weed binge. Oh, the animals are eating the stuff up here. That's that's why. We're not harvesting that. They're just eating that. I see. Paranoia now on Cedric from being malnourished. What? We've got six... What are you talking about malnourished, Cedric? How did you get yourself malnourished? We've got 16 meals and 200 cram. How did you How did you pull this off? He must have just been really tired and he was going to go eat right there. And he's like, nah, forget about it. This miserable place will be our tomb, he says. This place isn't going to be miserable for long. You know what? He actually hates it because it's starting to look better and better. And he's an ascetic. He just wants to live in like a dirt hovel like a hobbit. Speaking of living like a hobbit, Tremaine, the time has come. The time has come, friend. Sandstone gates. We're going to put that right here. Boom. This one we're probably maybe not really actually going to build because it's 500 resources. But now we can come inside here at long last and do miscellaneous sarcophagus sandstone. There you go friend there you go eventually that's going to be for you got a lot of work to do there first but we're working on it all right we got animal starvation on titan not sure why uh titan what if i just you're not even allowed to go in there go to unrestricted titan just go eat oh you know why i think it's because he was being mounted by cedric and then cedric went on a mental break and now he's just he's doping he's full doping right now Paldos can find nothing to do with this time because there's nothing more to carve out. And I'm not prepared. Should I do more? No, we got 3,000 iron. We've we've got more iron than I could ever hope to have. Like, this is a lot. And I need to plan more choppies at this point. So, let's find something else for Baldos to do, I guess. Baldos, what do you want to do, buddy? You can cook. You are really good at cooking. Let's bump you up to like a four on that, I suppose. That would free up cinnamon to do other stuff. I don't know what. Maybe hauling and cleaning. You know what? Maybe we should drop cinnamon off here of this and then have cinnamon just haul and clean for everybody. I think so. Put cinnamon on a nine here. We'll just swap it around so Paul Dose can take care of all the cooking and whatnot. And Cinnamon can deal with hauling and cleaning and helping out with that. Because there is still a fair bit of hauling and cleaning to do. So, And I'm leaving this open because eventually i got to put myself back on construction on a 4. Uh, but for right now, what am I doing? Harvesting heel root. Nice. Alan's no longer bridging on pipe weed. Alma's fully healed. Harvesting a cotton plant. Interesting. Now, we definitely do not need more cotton. So let's grab this here and disallow sewing. And let's actually turn it over to a heal root. And then once this is 100% done and we harvest it all, we can get even more heal root. Now, this is what I wanted to see here. 365 steel. Have I made any new weapons in the longest time? No, not even close. We're good on tunics. We're low on pants, though. I think someone just grabbed one right there for two seconds. By the way, there's a another Ambrosia sprout, but I don't care about that. 
Titan is still starving. I think he'll figure it out in the morning. Hold those lacks of a ranged weapon. Minor break risks here and there. We still have insects. Summer has begun. Yes, this spring has just been glorious. It has absolutely just been glorious. Oh, meteorite again. Boy, the game just won't stop giving us meteorites. Not even sure where this one is. Right here? What? what just happened? Did it actually land there and disappear? I don't know. We got 22 meals, like 300 something salted meats. So we don't have to worry about that. This is coming along. One thing I should do, let's uh, grab one of these things and build a copy of it right there because that's always the meats. We want them to be salted. And then we'll copy those settings so when that does get done, we can paste them in there. All right. Two hundred cram in case of a bad situation as well. We only have ten more minutes. I'm really hoping here. You know what? Let's turn the sewing on there. I should plant that as soon as possible. Ooh, never mind. Just cougar killing a rat. That's all that was. Look at all these chunks out there. That poor Mufalo corpse died for no reason. By the way, ambrosia bushes are ready to harvest. Do we want to do that? Keep our moods a little bit higher. Everyone's just going to go. Everyone, eventually, someone's going to get addicted to them. But we can get rid of addiction because we're dwarves. So sure, let's harvest them up. This ambrosia sprouts all over the place for some reason. And there's a mad turkey. That's fine. We can hunt that guy. Who's going to hunt him? You know what? Alan will probably just take him out. Oh, yeah. Don't even need to worry about this. Come on, Alan. Yep. Not even a not even a problem. <gasps> a pack of rhinoceroses we could tame. Speaking of. Any more bears? No. No such luck. Any uh, random animals that are forbidden that something killed? No. No such luck. All right. Looks like Cedric's the only one putting in these floors, but he's putting them in. It's starting to look like a real place here. Oh, we have no light in this room. Oh, you know what? Let's build an iron sh can or what is this chandelier right there? Didn't even realize we had no light in that room. Uh, you know why no one's building these things? It's because I'm the best builder, and I think I'm never gonna get around to doing that. We're getting food poisoning now from the dirty room. We're also harvesting heal root, which is good because we haven't had any for the longest time. Boy, I am just stretched too thin. I gotta harvest this, harvest that, plant the heal root, harvest the other stuff, do all the blacksmithing. But there's really no one else who can do it. Cedric's a jogger. We don't want him doing smithing. He doesn't, he doesn't have a passion for it either. Alan sort of likes doing it, but is also a jogger. And so I'm the only other one who can even do it remotely, even though I only have a four. That is far... Oh, visiting the grave of Tremaine. I'm like, Tremaine, you've died in every game I've ever played. Nice to see you die again in this game, too. That's apparently what I was thinking. You know what? Let's do this. Since I'm not really helping out with the armor here, let's put me back up to my four. We can shut that down. Awesome. This way, I'll, I'll crank out the floor, if nothing else. If nothing else. God, I looked at Cedric briefly out of the corner of my eye, and I thought he was a skeleton. It's like an undead dwarf. Ascetic has repulsive bedroom, spacious interior, luxuriantly comfortable, recreation fully satisfied, low expectations, catharsis, hungry, ugly environment. He probably should have just ate. Yep, that's gone. Seems to be in darkness a fair bit. Disturb sleep. No, that's gone now too. Only ugly environment. Well, we're, we're taking care of that as we speak. Hey, what's the beauty of all these things? I'm not even sure. It's two for each one of these floors versus the old ones, which were negative one. This is going to make this place beautiful. Of course, the walls are hideous at negative two each. Smoothing them is the next big... Woo! Someone needs to do some cleaning, guys. Didn't realize. Let's get the cleaning up to a three on Cedric. He hasn't been cleaning at all because he's been busy crafting. Whoopsie-daisy. 
There we go. This will take care of a lot of issues. There's just so many things to clean, though. I like how he interrupts to go do some milk harvesting there. Cleaning up the outside, cleaning up the inside. Yeah, we were getting food poisoning, but we're dwarves. We can just we can eat like rocks, I think. We don't care. Blood filtration for days. That was the problem there. He was just crafting all episode without cleaning. Look at how much more cleaning he had to do. He's not even done. By the way, now I'm crafting. I was hoping to do it with Cedric and get it done super fast, but since no one was cleaning, we'll work on that for a little bit. Surprised we didn't have more mental breaks as a result of that. Yeah, the whole ba the whole base was just disgustingly horrible. I could forbid the animals from coming in here, uh, and quite frankly, I believe that I should. A zone area. Let's clear the allowed area of animals. Let's not allow them to go eat all of our food. We'll allow them in there, but only to sleep in those rooms. Nice. Cinnamon, or taking care of Cinnamon's room now as well. This is getting put together. It actually looks okay. Not great or anything. I think I could do it a little bit differently. I think, in fact, I think I will do it a little bit differently in the future. Let's just get the first wave down now. I think what I might do is like a mosaic, 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 and then like solid blocks between the three. That would be kind of cool. Or something else. Just a little bit of texture and tile to it. But I like it. So far. Alright, we only got a few more minutes here. Really want to get this done. Cranking out those floors. Tomorrow, Cedric should help out because cleaning should be taken care of. We got this completely replanted. How is this going up here? Heel root, 100% grown. Well, that's a minor problem because now I'm not cutting plants because I'm busy uh, crafting like the winds. Animal starvation on Titan again, even though I think that's just because Titan's not... I don't know what his problem is. Now, okay, now he's unconscious. We're going to haul him up there. Someone will go feed him a meal. Now he's good to go. What a dope, that guy. What happened to our bear? Apparently he got in a fight with a turkey someplace. Malnutrition extreme, 81%. But he's he's fed now, so he's taken care of. Yeah, I've really got to get myself back to doing all the other things I have to do. But I just want to get the floors in this episode. This is the episode. Four times floors, guys. Cedric, what are you up to? Cleaning dirt. Where are you going, Cedric? I don't even... He's so fast, I can't even see him. He, Zooms off the screen in one second. Nice, he's hauling in bricks. Cleaning animal filth. Now he's putting in some floors. Oh yeah, me and Cedric, guys. We're getting it done. He's got a lot of other jobs to do at the same time. A lot of cleaning to do, but we're getting it done for sure. Rare Thrombo's incoming. Our main room in here. Look at this. We can almost start researching soon. Main room complete with floors. I don't care about the, the... How many thrombos are there? One? No, actually two. Yeah, I don't really care about that, though. As long as they don't eat my heal root, which they might. And it's happy fun time hour, then it's time for sleep. Uh, and then tomorrow, I think we'll actually, believe it or not, finish the floor. Yeah, we got just this, this, and a little bit over there. And most of the bricks have already been delivered, and most of them have been cut. By the way, look at how many we went through to do all of that. Smoothing walls takes... I don't know how much work it actually takes to smooth a wall. Dwarven Ithalidin lamp. Oh, no! It's a siege! No! I just got my beautiful base put together. A group of denizens from Father's Royal Court have arrived nearby. Father's Royal Court have arrived nearby. It looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance. You can try to wait them out or go get them. Well then. Ooh, these guys are serious. Serious. They have armor, they got helmets, they got one, two, three, four, five, six shield belts, which if we kill them, uh, we can get their shield belts. But look at this stuff. What the heck even is this guy wearing? They have so many armors, it's crazy. Look at this guy, he's got full-on plate mail. And this one down here, by the way, foreboding ominous sign is named Victor. Why do you think that one's named Victor? 
We're gonna have to- I don't know how we're gonna do this. There's six of us. We don't even have weapons yet. And I don't want my base to get sieged. We just almost got the floors in. We got so close. Just one more day, we would have been done. All right, we're gonna have to bump me back here on construction. Uh, construction's gonna have to be much lower than it is. Uh, so that I can get the smithing and tailoring done. I knew it. I knew if I put myself... You know, if I had just stayed on course, I would have made all the steel. Then I would have made some weapons. We can always come grab these random weapons up here. There are a bunch of people who have got no weapons whatsoever. Yeah, Paul Dose. Actually, he's the only one who doesn't have one. So, we'll give him this good iron spear. Not the most dwarven thing. We can also come over here and equip that thing. How the heck am I going to do deal with a raid of 17 people... Uh, what do they have for weapons? Arbalist, one-handed crossbow, medieval longsword, short sword, one-handed mace, one-handed crossbow. This is going to be, this is my nightmare scenario. I didn't even think about this. How, the thing is, though, once they get their siege equipment set up, we can steal it from them. And I think if it's the medieval siege equipment I remember from before, it actually launches chunks so we could have like a whole chunk thing here and people can see just a little shoot catapult, dwarven catapults of rocks over the walls to crush them. That would be amazing. Another thing I have to do between this episode and the next episode is plan out what to dig because I did not expect actually getting everything dug out here. Like the whole base is ready to go. Uh, we could dig a whole lot more. But yeah, definitely need weapons. God, I, I, got, I got caught up making the base look pretty. Not even pretty. We got to do all the walls. We got to build all kinds of like items and equipment. We got to do research. So many things to do. This campaign is just... There's too many things to do. Too many. Look at these doors. Just these doors. One, two, three, four, five. That's 500 blocks we need just to make those doors. That's going to be insane. By the way, if, if raiders are attacking the doors, can I get three people repairing them at the same time because they're so big? Probably not. But yeah, how the heck to deal with this? Uh, I guess we're just going to have to run in there, bait some of them, kill like one or two and then run away. That, or flip that, or we get the herd of, yes, we get the herd of mufalos on revenge. By the way, I have to harvest too. These are all 100% grown. This is all 100% grown. This, this all needs to be harvested. That needs to, I need so much stuff. So many things need to be done, good lord. But anyway, I think what we're going to have to do here is bait the Mufalo ho ho horde into revenge. And then run away while we're mounted, have them chase us into these guys, and then have a brawl ensue. Then we go very carefully pick off the easy ones to pick off. I, unless there's a better plan. I don't know, I'll think about it between episodes. But until the future! Uh, at least we made some progress here, right though? At least we made a little bit of progress. It's looking better. Looking better every day. I'm just kind of curious what this thing says. Rec room. Slightly impressive. Somewhat rich. Quite spacious. It's neutrally beautiful and a little bit clean. Slightly dirty. Ugly. How is this room ugly? I don't understand. How is that ugly? Oh, because of the walls. I see. Yeah. As soon as we smooth those walls, Cedric's like, I'm out. Get me out of here. This place sucks. Anyways, yeah, uh, in the future, we'll do something, and then we'll have a giant, unbelievably ridiculous raid to contend with. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Ever since then, uh, you know, and I, well, I guess it was ever since I insulted Faldo 17 times and slighted him 22 times. Ever since that incident, me and Faldo haven't got along so well, it seems. But Alan and Cinnamon, uh, pretty good. Alan over here, what?! Alan is super friends with me, just, just likes me a lot, amazing, someone likes me in the colony, friends, I am liked.